Okay, good morning, middle schoolers. Um, I just wanted to touch base for just a second. Um, it's so nice how I could not do my video from the my office, which is technically kind of a closet. Um, oh, good morning. Chubby says good morning. I'm gonna let him down. Do you wanna get down? Okay. All right. Um, so yesterday we looked at this book. It's called Art Before Breakfast, and um, it's a really fun book to use. But we talked about like how are you creative already. And um, I thought of something after I had made that video that I basically decorate for every single holiday. So yes, this is a Christmas tree and I decorated it for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. I think I have to take it down. Maybe you guys can leave a note in the comments whether you think I should decorate it for Easter or not. Um, but the new um, page that I wanted you guys to think about just for a second in this book so if you're trying to do like a daily drawing activity, the stuff I didn't give you, you know, or the stuff I gave you wasn't enough and you want to do more, that's awesome. Oh, this is how we're just texting. Um, so basically there was another page in here that I really liked and I thought would be good for middle school and it's called the facts of life. And cause basically it's like a drawing journal is what it is. But um, in this page about the facts of life, it says, think about the significance of some small part of your life. So something that doesn't take a big space in your daily activities and commemorate its specialness by drawing it. And then after that, count your blessings. So in this little illustration, they drew a hippo. That's the example they gave. So whatever significance that had to someone, but then on the other side, it has a spot for you to draw something. And if you guys just want to use loose leaf paper, um, today's Friday the 20th. And um, basically, I think what I would probably draw, let me think for a second. I would, I would maybe draw um, when my son graduated because he had a really uh, tricky time sometimes in high school. So when he, and, and middle school, middle school is tough right? Um, so when he graduated, it was just a big celebration for all of us. More because, you know, he made it. He did it. He accomplished a goal. And um, I think I would draw something like that, like maybe a graduation cap or something else. Um, or maybe when I became an art teacher, I, that would be like a very special, it was, you know, it's a short time. Graduations are like a short time and getting a new job is a short time, but it's nice to like commemorate it by drawing a small picture. So hopefully you guys have um, started to notice some things popping up on the Schoology. But again, like I said yesterday, I miss all your faces and hopefully I will talk to some of you, you know, via um, phone chatting. I know a lot of people have messaged me and I love seeing your guys' messages. So if you really need something, make sure you email me. I will get all the grades for middle schoolers up as soon as possible. But I just wanted to do like a fun daily drawing activity for you guys. Um, you could maybe draw outside today if it stopped. Oh, never mind. It's starting to rain. Um, but there are some also drawing activities online. But what I gave you should be enough to keep you busy for a few days at least as long as you take your time on it. But all right, I will talk to all of you soon. And um, maybe I, I'll try to post something over the weekend, but it'll probably be Monday. So yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys and look up your grades. Check Schoology, check Progress Book, whenever you guys have time. Okay, bye.